today I'll be teaching you what is piloting a superscalar. Come here my employees. Without a pipelining, your computer processors get the first instruction from memory, performs the operation it calls for, and then goes to the next instruction from memory, and so forth. While fetching the instruction, the arithmetic part of the processor is ideal. It must wait until it gets the next instruction. Only perform one instruction at a time. After the instruction is completed, now the next instruction can be performed. Pipelining is an implementation technique where multiple instructions are overlapped in execution. The computer pipeline is divided in stages. Each stage completes a part of an instruction in parallel. The stages are connected one to the next to form a pipe. Pipelining does not decrease the time for individual instruction execution. Instead, it increases instruction throughput. The throughput of the instruction pipeline is determined by how often an instruction exits the pipeline. Pipelining divides an instruction into steps, and since each step is executed in a different part of the processor, multiple instructions can be in different phase each clock. Superscalar is similar to pipelining. The only difference is, Superscalar can perform multiple instructions at a single clock. With redundant facilities to execute an instruction. I'll be teaching you hazards now. Now, let me explain what is hazard. Hazards reduce the performance of the ideal speed up gained by pipelining. There are three types of pipeline hazards. There are structural hazards, data hazards, and control hazards. Now that I've explained what hazard is, I'll explain each type of hazards. Firstly, structural hazard. Structural hazards occur when a hardware resource has been requested by more than one instruction at a time. We'll first see what happens when structural hazard does not occur. When there is enough hardware resources, as shown by the pin brushes the workers are holding. With enough resources, it is enough to support parallelism and there is no stalling, so it functions as a pipeline should. However, when there is a lack of resources, it is not enough to support parallel execution of instruction, and no new instructions can be fetched. Stalling will occur. This is seen with a reduce in performance. To prevent structural hazards from occurring, there should always be enough hardware resources. The instruction will get all its existing data from the memory. Then the instruction will add in value. Before the next instruction can fetch the existing data, it has to wait for the current instruction to write to memory. After it has written back to memory, it can now fetch data from the memory. This continues, so on and so forth. The first instruction reads the data from the memory. Before the first instruction writes back to the memory, the next instruction reads the existing data in the memory. Then the first instruction writes back to the memory with value. When the next instruction tries to write back, there will be an overlap error. Control hazard is when fetch cannot continue, because it does not know the outcome of an earlier branch. When branching is executed, current instructions will be dropped. I have a top priority instruction for you. Get it done now. 
Alright workers, we have a top priority instruction. Let's start now. After branching is completed, it will continue its original instruction.